Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another customization episode. Today we're working with the Pegasi Torero XO, based off the 2022 Lamborghini Countach. Comes in just under $2.9 million. Ooh, it sounds good too. Uh, it's very expensive, very expensive car. So yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, well, of course, we're going to do the armor first and the brakes. Bumpers. A few different... Oh, there's... Oh, it's just a little design difference down there, I think. Interesting. We'll probably not do those. It's forged. I'm not... Oh, these are kind of... Hmm. Not gonna lie, not too excited. I think we'll go with carbon. Secondary carbon, for now at least. Oh, this can be... Whoa, full bumper delete? Hmm. I do want to go for a race build, I think. Because this is one of the better race cars I've heard. With an incredible engine power. Lots of top speed. Canards. Uh, ooh. Also changes here. Uh, hmm. Quite interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I do like this middle bit, I think. And I think we'll go with the carbon. We'll just see how that feels. Upgrade the engine. Exhaust. Turbo exhausts. Oh, I wonder if you can see that behind the uh, bumper then, if you get the delete. Your bumper, nothing. Oh, that looks awesome. Ah, maybe we'll keep that. Ooh, the titanium turbo one though. I think we'll go with those. I think we'll wait till the end to see if we want to put that bumper back on though. Uh, oh wow, there's not too much difference here. I do like how it has that extra bit down there. I'm not sure if I like it perfectly square. The stock one definitely looks good. Let's do the slat vented one. No horn. We'll upgrade the lights. Livery, okay. I wonder if they do have some race-esque liveries. That can look pretty cool. Bear one? Hmm. Train, a split one. Camo one. Hmm. I do like that pinstripe. That looks pretty nice. Legendary Motorsport. I have a feeling this could look really cool, actually. Uh, depending what we, what else we can do. So let's do the plate. Oh, we don't even get a plate back there. Interesting. Do we get one in the front? We don't get one in the front. Huh. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, let's see how this can look. That doesn't look too good. Kind of thinking like a dark gray. Mm, not my thing. Maybe a yellow. Oh, but there's no yellow to match that perfect yellow. Damn. Optical blue could look cool. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe we'll go back to the livery because I'm not sure if I like that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll respray it at the end once we get the other customization on done too. Oof. Oh, I like that one. Full carbon. Hmm. That could be pretty cool too, though. I think we'll do that with the carbon in the middle. Get some skirts. Oh man. Uh, I guess we'll. I guess we can do those. Yeah. Spoiler. I'm excited for this. Carbon wing. What? Is it under here? Is it an active spoiler? Huh. Ooh. Oh, that looks interesting. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Maybe that one, carbon one though. I think I think we I think I'm gonna do a bunch of carbon for this maybe. So I think we can do Oh the bonnet! Wait, what is this? Trunk. Oh, okay. Let's mess with this a little bit. Um uh, Deep vent. Yeah. Oh, maybe not actually. You know what? I think I think we might leave it stock for right now. Of course with turbo, even though we already have two back here. Vents. Ooh, back there. Primary, secondary. I think we'll do forged. Man, the forged stuff. I'm not a fan of that. We'll leave the wheels and windows. Let's go back to livery. Uh, you know, I was kind of digging the pinstripe, so I think we'll do that. And maybe we can do like a black or something. Oh, that looks pretty mean. Damn. 
What about a blue, like monocle blue and red? Hey, that looks kind of cool too, actually. You know what? I think we'll do that. I think so. Ooh, we can check the pearlescent. Maybe a red one. Let's just see. I think the gasoline green adds a really nice brightness to it. Beautiful. Ooh, and the secondary is the tip of those. Let's do another red for that then. Let's do Torino red with a little bit brighter. That looks cool. Oh man. Interior. I think we'll do nautical blue. Oh man. I don't like that. The center console is so dated. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. Time for the time for the wheels. Pipe high end probably. Got some huge rims on it. Maybe I uh, since I want to use it as a track car for like top speed tracks, I think we'll put track wheels on. These some of the I love those pepper pots actually. I uh, never mind. I need I don't like the chrome on the side. Taking those off. Just made it black so I can see if the other ones are painted everywhere. I think let's go with, yeah, let's go with throwbacks. Okay. Color black. Yep, we're doing black. Custom tires. Fooker's the only red one. Kind of like that, but I don't know if I want it. We'll bulletproof him. No smoke. Windows, tint those. Bam. That looks pretty sweet. And now I have to think about the bumper. Let's see, rear bumpers, that's stock. I kind of do like the exposed turbos in the back there. Right, these look good too. Carbon or nothing. Do that one or that one. You know what, I think we will keep it. I think it would get annoying for me staring at the back, maybe. You know, I'm sure it would look great either way. Since I wanted like all the carbon, I'd have to put that back there. Let's do a, one more check on the spoilers just in case. Don't like how that one sits up front of it. Oh yeah, I'm pretty set on that. Awesome, okay. Oop, took it back into the garage. So let's take it outside. Let's do a quick startup test. Hmm. Definitely like the start of it, but idle still sounds like every other V12. Uh, Lamborghini-esque car. Sure is quick off the line though. I love the way this thing looks. Recently, this one and the STX especially stand out to me as like really well done uh, real life equivalents. Oh, it definitely understeers though. Mm. It's definitely all wheel drive. I'm not, I'm, oh, whoops. I was gonna say, I wasn't spinning out or anything, uh, which can be helpful, but it definitely suffers in the corners. Uh, definitely has the speed going for it though. Very powerful. I think according to Bruffy, it was maybe top six in the supercars for top speed. It's definitely a fun car to drive though. It's very fast and it seems pretty planted to the ground. You can definitely slide out if you go on the grass like there. Woo! But yeah, the does not turn very well. And you can definitely feel that. It just feels quite heavy in the front and it just doesn't go anywhere. However, if you can slow down enough and make the turn with ease, you can definitely exit at a good pace and make up your time that way if you're racing with it. it definitely looks really awesome though lights on that's pretty sweet pop down headlights Ooh. yeah pop down all right there we are with the pagasi torero xo uh, for two point almost 2.9 million dollars uh it's quite definitely up there in price it looks really cool though the customization was pretty mid if i'm not gonna lie uh it's a cool looking car but that's pretty much what you get with it except for some extra bumpers, spoilers, and all the regular customization stuff. Nothing too special about it. Uh, something that is special about it is the engine power and the speed at which it accelerates. God damn, it sounds good too. But what it makes up in speed, it also lacks in downforce. So cornering with this car is not too good. Uh, if you decide to race with it, definitely take it on more top speed tracks. Uh, it's definitely a cool car to drive though. Lots of fun. 
I think that's about it to cover. Doesn't have any weapons or anything like that. No special tech. Definitely a pretty ride. I'd pick it up if it comes on sale. Not exactly worth the price, but you do get some crazy speed. So if you like fast cars, definitely add it to your list. But yeah, that's about it for the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.